Hey guys! So I've decided to pick up the vlogging camera. It's been a while since I vlogged. Um, I've just been kind of dishing out a lot of hauls and stuff. Um, but I've just been in the mood to kind of dabble into some like Dollar Tree DIY. Yeah, DIY. I always say DYI for some reason. DIYs. And I was just, while I was at work, of course, that's what I do while I'm at work, is I watch YouTube. Um, and there's just been a lot of really good, um, like, stuff for the fall season, fall decor at um, Dollar Tree. I can't, I can't think right now, y'all. But, so I thought I would go. Um, I went during my lunch break to one of the smaller ones in my area. There was a lot of good stuff, but there's a bigger one in my area. So I'm hoping they have even more stuff because the person I watched on YouTube, I don't remember her name, she had some really good signs, wood signs, and I'm on the hunt for this like gather, it says gather, gather wood sign that I can paint with chalk paint and do some like really cool stuff with. Um, so that's what I'm on the hunt for. Hopefully this other Dollar Tree has it. I'm going to go to that one. I may go to another one like that's like a few miles down the street from this other one because for some reason, of course, like every neighborhood has like two or three Dollar Trees. It's great. They're amazing. But um, that's where we're headed right now. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at vlogging, so hopefully I don't get vlog shy. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to say, so... That, that's it we're 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 heading there ah. hey guys so we made it to dollar tree and y'all this like i don't even know if this is a storm or what this is but i don't even know like it looks like the heavens are about to like drop out of the sky uh yeah i probably should have stayed home but dollar tree's right here so we should be good maybe we'll get caught inside um, in the rain, but at least I'll be inside. So I'm gonna head in right now. Oh, the fall items. And I've got all of the floral. So they have some Halloween stuff up as well. More fall. I found this cutie. But yeah, they don't have the sign I'm looking for though. So sadly the fall section was really small. So right now I'm just gonna peek around their like craft area and see what's what over here. They have a really good sticker section. These are pretty. How cute are these? Hmm. They have all the little craft stuff. I think their craft section has gotten a little bigger and they actually have decent tacky glue so I absolutely 100% was a terrible vlogger in there but y'all it's about to rain so I'm not gonna stay out here too long look at the sky it's dripping right now but it's crazy let's focus why aren't we focusing I hope that's not on our seat. Yeah, it's not. Oh, there we go. It's so creepy out here, but it's like cooled off so much. It's a nice little Wally world over there. But, uh, oh my goodness. How creepy is it out here? Crazy creepy. Mm. So. Are we focused? Vlog camera, you haven't been working for a while, so I understand. But as usual, I was a terrible vlogger in there, even though it was probably a prime situation to vlog because there's hardly anybody in there. But when my mind is going, I just, I don't know. Like, I was interested in so many things. Um, I only spent about $25, but I will show you guys when I get home what I got because there's some things that I think I want to test out. I looked up a quick YouTube video on them before I purchased them, but I'm kind of excited about them because I hope they work out because what I plan to buy from Target costs like three times the price because 
it was Target, but I didn't get them, and I got them from Dollar Tree, so we will see. I'm so excited. I'm probably not going to go to the second one, even though I really want to. I really want to, and I have time. I mean, it's just a little rain, right? All right, so I made it to the other Dollar Tree. Now, this Dollar Tree is in a little more suspect part of town. It's not great. When I was a kid, this area was like hustle and bustle and this is where you came to go back to school shopping. Now, it's just, it's not the best. So, I'm probably not going to go into this store with this vlogging camera. Not that I would get robbed or anything, but just, I, I just don't, no, we're not going to do that. But, <laughs> here it is. This is the Dollar Tree that I'm going in. And y'all can just see the little shopping center. There's a little bit of CC's and DD's. Like, I don't know. I feel like shopping centers with CC's and DD's aren't always the best. But it's a little bit of a deserted shopping area. Um, it's not as popping as it used to be when I was a kid. But yeah, I'm going to go in and see what I can find. And then I will update you guys on everything when we get back to the house. All right, y'all, so we've made it home safely. Um, it is like the sky did like fall from the heavens. Like it's pouring, it's nasty, it's dark. Uh, just a lot going on. We are here in the drop-off zone. Um, this is kind of where I dropped everything off. Um, I today, during my lunch break, I went to a... Um, Dollar Tree, and then we just went to two Dollar Trees just now after work. Um, so let's go through all of this stuff. I'm just going to kind of show you guys so I can put this stuff away because we're not going to do any like decor stuff right now. There's like 40 days till fall. So I definitely think it's a little too soon to be uh, shopping. Um, and I just, I'm not ready for like decorating right now like right now I'm still trying to like put things in their normal places and get life together so yeah we're not decorating right now all right so I'm back I had to rig you guys up I've got y'all like stacked and stacked on a few things here um so we're gonna start with a few of the signs and then we'll get to some of this please ignore whatever you can see back here I don't know what can you see back there oh lucky you can only see like one bottle of wine <laughs> there's more um so these I thought were so stinking cute so these are just like little corn I guess husk and you just like stick them in the ground so I was thinking of possibly putting these at the front door um, I got two right now in that spot where I would switch it out I have like a little metal pinwheel um, I don't even think most people notice it. I barely notice it, but, um, I just thought that might be like really cute for fall. Um, and then we have a home sweet home sign. That's like a little wood. If y'all can see that a little wood sign has a little stake at the bottom. So, um, I don't know. These are pretty solid, nice signs. I usually try my best to make sure I don't get one that's like bent or scraped up. Um, so these signs are pretty, pretty sturdy for a dollar. Like, y'all, each item is a dollar. Like, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm used to having a Dollar Tree, but some people don't have access to Dollar Tree. I don't know why there wouldn't be a Dollar Tree in every neighborhood, every area, but, I mean, not everybody has access to it. Um, these I found actually on the way out. I would actually replace the bow on this with maybe a new piece of, uh, like, wine or whatever you use but it just says welcome friends so something I would actually put on one of my entryway console tables um this one says hello fall the bow on this one's actually a lot better but maybe replacing them both if I'm using like a different type of like fabric um and then we've got thankful and blessed and it's a little pumpkin and it's, if you can see, the wording is kind of glittery. I don't know if that's coming off. I'm just happy that these are solid. These are so solid. And I feel like I'll be able to use them time and time again. This one says Farm Fresh. I love that the pumpkin is black. 
um, because the pumpkins on here are like orange. So it just really pops the sign. So I think this one's really cute and I would actually put this on my front door. Um, and then the little leaf is metal. So that's really cute. I love that. I wonder who like, when I like see stuff like this every season, I'm like, who are the like design people? Who's a part of the design team? Because that's the job I want. Like, I really want that job. This one says thankful, grateful, and blessed. Um, so just some stuff to hang around. Maybe I'll change out some stuff in the powder rooms, in the bathrooms. I don't know where I'm going to put a lot of this stuff. I may not even use it all. But it's a dollar, and whatever's left, I will put away for next year. Or if I have friends that need some decor, I've got... Probably a good bit that's going to be left over maybe so you guys can come raid my decor bin. Um, I have a friend that I go to church with. She loves the red truck themed anything. I don't know. Um, I kind of send her every red truck themed stuff that I find. Um, I think it started with Christmas but probably by now by all of the like text and um, pictures I've sent her. She's probably got red truck Easter and red truck fall and red truck this and red truck that so this one's cute um i'm not like a huge red truck themed person but i thought this would be like a simple little carpet to put in my kitchen so i'm just gonna have like one little red truck themed thing so thanks to her um i found something that i actually like in this red truck theme and i'm gonna use it in like the either at the kitchen Probably at the kitchen, at the kitchen sink, or maybe at the stove, but probably at the kitchen sink because I'm there more than I'm at the stove, and it's kind of cute. Um, we'll just lay it there. So I just placed it, and it's adorable. See, like this. I always have to show off my uh, <laughs> uh, my faucet that I put in there myself. But anyway, um, yeah, it's cute. It's perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of go down the line. None of this is in any <laughs> any specific order. Um, I kind of bunched things together that are the same, I guess. Um, these are some bows. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing with a lot of this decor. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys. I'm really excited because I didn't spend lots of money. Even though I got lots of things, I didn't spend a whole lot of money as if I did if I went to like Walmart or Target and found decor. So uh, these little bows are glittery and they have pumpkins all over them. Again, I, I hope to honestly maybe set up like some sort of an arrangement. Maybe do a video on it. I have no idea, but I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, This bow is a little tattered, so I may continue with that theme here and kind of like rough up the edges um because i kind of like it but this one's like a um, plaid yeah that's the word a little plaid bow set of bows um next i saw these on a youtube channel um she made garland out of it and i thought it was a cute idea so i'm going to attempt that myself the only thing i could not find were the wood leaves that she used to place on top of these she glued them hot glued them to these um so that she could use a chalk marker um to write like her little saying for her banner so hopefully just maybe going to a different dollar tree another day hopefully i find what i'm looking for to complete this project so these little metal words um they say thankful harvest and welcome um i did see these on another youtube channel um they're pretty they're you know they're bendable but they're pretty solid and she did some really cool stuff with them so we'll see if i can get my craft on and make it work i'm not sure i also found some halloween ones um haunted spooky and beware um the same you know flimsy little metal but they're pretty like nice. I mean, especially if I make something out of them and not just have them like thrown around. These would also be great if you like make wreaths and stuff like to just like sit in the wreath. Um, I mean, I would assume you could paint these as well um, and maybe even paint them with like a white chalk paint and distress them a little bit so that the metal shows through. That would be cool. Um, so just some ideas. All right. So this is contact paper. 
Yeah. Adhesive covering is what it's called. But contact paper, I got the teal at one store and i was like oh that's cool i saw an idea on youtube um where you can make a faux frame using contact paper and like just some um gator board um just kind of a thick poster board um so i thought that idea was really cool but she used the wood grain contact paper and i'm not like a wood grain person so i was like this would be cute for like my office um, but then I saw this one, this color at a different Dollar Tree, and I was like, yes, gray is more of like a theme that goes on in my house. So if I did, I could create something and use this one in like the like living room area, dining room area of my house. So they kind of worked out. I got grabbed two of each because I don't even, I didn't pay attention to how many like yards or inches of this stuff comes in here. It seemed like not much, so I just grabbed two of each. So the next few things are little clip-ons. Um, these I thought were so pretty, y'all. These are little sunflowers. They're clip-ons, so if I do set up some sort of an arrangement, these can just either clip on to just add some more. Um, if I ever, I don't know if I'd ever get around to doing or making a wreath, but one of my best friends, she makes wreaths. If I wanted to add a little pizzazz to the wreath, like these are so stinking cute. So, um, and then the sequins don't look too bad. Like, like these are really, really pretty. I love the sequins. The sparkle just adds something to them. Um, these leaves are also clip-ons, and I just thought they were really cool. Same concept to add a little pizzazz to whatever arrangement, whatever something. I don't, I don't know what I'm really going to use these for. I could clip them probably to like a pot, um, for a plant just to add a little something. I'm not sure. You don't want to go too crazy with the decor, but I mean, I, they're a dollar, so... And I like options. I like to like sit around and look and be like, ooh, I have something and just clip it on and it'd be like, oh, perfect. So there's those. So I did not find my gather sign that's wood. Um, this is the wood, the thickness. Y'all can hear that. The solid wood sign, this just says boo. This is the Halloween version. There was one that was like horizontal and it said gather. Um, I've seen it all over YouTube so far and I cannot find one. Um, so I don't know. I know there's some other Dollar Trees on the other side of town that I may go to tomorrow. Um, hopefully I find what I'm looking for. Um, if I do, I'll clip it in because I'll probably be way too excited. But... Beebs is just doing the most and making the most noise with her bell as she can while I'm filming this. So just enjoy the music that she makes. But yeah, this I got in the Halloween version. I really want to find it in Gather because I really want to like paint it and use it. And I don't know. It's just such a solid sign for a dollar. It's so good. Y'all, so I'm sticking this in with my phone. But y'all, they have the signs. I'm so excited. They have three. They have family, they have thankful, and they have gather. So I'm so excited. So I feel like um, the Dollar Trees around here have stepped up their game in the craft area. Um, I found some little squeeze bottles, just stuff that I've never really seen. I guess it's called Crafter Square is what the area is called because a lot of this stuff says Crafter Square. Um, but I thought to use these for like a tie-dye project that I have in mind. Uh, video coming soon. I'm really excited about it. Um, I just got to get my life in order so that I have space to do it in so that I'm not like ruining like any part of my house just to tie-dye a t-shirt. So we'll see how that works out. So this lot of stuff is just kind of random stickers and notebooks. I really hope to possibly do a, what, not a, is it a journal? No, a planner. I really hope to successfully use and do and whatever you call it, a planner one day. Um, so I always pick up little cheap planner items. I have a number of planner items. I've had a few planners. I just... 
I, I'm not focused. I'm not disciplined enough to use them. I don't know. I use my phone more than I use an actual planner. But hopefully with the space in my office, I'll have an area where I can actually sit down and actually do a planner. And, and just even if it's just a memories planner and not like an actual business business planner. But um, that's a little cute little notepad that I got. Um, just kind of found it on the way walking out. Um, just some stickers. Um, we've got some more stickers. Um, these are actually reinforcers for, I guess, a future planner. Hmm. Um, and some more cute stickers. I thought those were just kind of cute. And then this is Let's Planner, and it's a collection of, guess what? Stickers. So just a, a, another collection of stickers. Alright, so I got some light up leaves. Um, are these, I believe these, yeah, a little battery operated. Um, I'll probably have to get some uh, AA batteries for them, but I'm pretty sure I have some around here somewhere. Um, but I thought these would be cool to put like in like a vase or something to just add some sort of twinkle to an, an arrangement or something. So these are chalkboard tags which I thought were really cool, um, per the girl that I watched on YouTube. I really should remember her name, so I could have, like, tagged her in this video, but, um, she kind of used these as, like, placements or, like, name placements for, like, a dinner arrangement, whether it be, like, Thanksgiving or something. Um, so with that being said, I also picked up some chalkboard markers. We got gold, white, silver, and a pink one. Um, just to kind of see if it works out. It seemed like a cute idea, so thought I'd pick some of those up since they were there. I'm now looking at these and I'm like, ooh, these are like fall. These are so fall. Like, <laughs> so I've never purchased sunglasses from Dollar Tree, but these are cute. Like, they, I mean, they're not going to shade my eyes much from the sun, but they're like, what, 1999 Jennifer Lopez look? Yes. Love don't cost a thing. I don't know if that's from 99, but y'all y'all get me. These I also saw on that YouTube video. She had an awesome haul. I really should like, maybe I'll find the video and I'll tag it below because she deserves to be seen. It was a great haul. Um, so these little towels say eat ham. A little turkey on them which is like my thing like I really don't like turkey for Thanksgiving um, I actually prefer ham so that was just a cute one on the back it's just more of like little turkey footprints and this one I thought was really cute because it's a pumpkin pie recipe um, I'm not a pumpkin pie baker or really eater but I just thought that was cute. Like, I mean, if you need a recipe in a pinch, then you got one on your little dish towel or towel for your kitchen. Um, so I have a few wreath holders. Um, this one I just thought was cool because it's orange. So it would be great for a fall wreath or a Halloween wreath. So here it is. Um, so I just got two of these. These seem really, really cute. Just little flower pots. Something to, I don't know, zhuzh up my outside somewhere. I don't have much of a front porch or anything. Um, so my little walkway, I'll maybe put these out there just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. They're cute little sunflowers and brown pots that have like a really cool kind of green paint distressing on it. Okay, so from the same chick... <laughs> that I watched, um, she showed these beauties. Y'all, I almost didn't find these. I found these on a random bottom shelf of like, a, like not even in the decor, fall decor area. Um, they just kind of were put there, but they're candle holders and y'all, these things are beautiful. I don't like know what it's called, but it looks like some of the paint is like scraped away. I don't know what that's called, but this is like, 
just the glass it's just so stinking pretty and even this would be a good idea to put those little lights in if i don't want to put candles in them put the lights in and i bet like it would just like this would like illuminate it already looks like it's like illuminating from just like the lights in my house kind of flowing into them but y'all and i got four of them so I'm excited to see what these are gonna look like and what I do with them. And they're not all the same color because as you can see, this one is like a more weird looking orange and than this one. Um, but yeah, they're not all the same. So that just kind of makes them unique. But yes, yes. All right, so the next few items I got, um, these are just cute little tiny vase that I feel like I can use for something. What's in here? Um, is actually just some jute twine that I picked up because I saw a really cool idea of just hot gluing the jute twine around these to just make them a little more rustic and a little more fall themed. So, and then they're just the perfect little small size. I have some bigger ones that I've used for like flowers around my house, but these are just kind of a little bit of a smaller. Um, and these would be a great idea to put lights in as well if I didn't want to put like a full arrangement in them. So we'll see what we end up using those lights for. Or if I end up using those lights in a lot of things and I have to go get more. They're only a dollar, so. Not sure really what I'm gonna use this for, but grab some orange acrylic paint. Um, oh, for the boo, the wood boo sign. I'm probably gonna paint orange, so. Um, they also had cute little plates. Um, I think both of these, yeah, both of these say thankful. Um, I'm just, I, y'all probably seen, I love glass and that's my theme for my home is like a lot of clear glass. But also, I use paper plates to eat. Um, maybe once in a while I'll get fancy and cook myself a steak dinner and use an actual plate because you have to like really cut steak. But for the most part, if you're coming here and I offer you food, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be on a paper plate unless you ask for an actual glass plate. Um, but yeah, and then there were some matching napkins. So I just thought that was cute. Okay, so the last few things that I'm gonna show you, I got in sets of two. Uh, they, they just get better and better. I'm just going to show you, <laughs> but they're so great. Um, I have some from last year that I may like chuck because these are so much better than the ones I got last year. The ones I got last year were real like styrofoamy. Um, I believe most of them I got from Walmart. These, these Dollar Tree, y'all, these little pumpkins, y'all hear that? They're like ceramic. They've got little metal leaves. Um, I just love the distressing, the color distressing that's going on here with the gold paint and y'all, they're solid. Um, we've got some more like muted, um, full ceramic ones that have a little shine to them. Um, they're not as like funky, but they're so, so cute. So cute y'all, like a dollar. These next ones I just found on a whim, again, on that bottom shelf. It was a random bottom shelf, not even in the fall decor area, but these, very, very cute. Little, like, I don't know, these are, I wouldn't consider these rose gold, but they're like a brownish gold, like a deep gold. Um, little pumpkins. And y'all, excuse me if, like, my knuckles are ashy. <laughs> y'all already know, like, sometimes I don't lotion, so here we are. We're here, focus on these, not these. Okay, <laughs> but these, another set of ceramic ones, so, so cute with the little, I don't know, what is that? The stem, the full thing is ceramic. These are just really, really pretty. I don't know if these are wood or ceramic. I don't know what I said about those other orange ones, but whatever this is, I don't know. It's probably definitely not gonna say what it is, but they kinda, sound wood but I don't know I don't really know but these are another like muted color with the metal leaves really cute just I'm excited to just use this stuff all over the place these are more dramatic I'll probably use these in some sort of arrangement this is what I mean when I'm talking about like foam they're really light they're foamy if you squeeze them too hard you'll put a dent in them um, these have little, what are these? Uh, uh, what are these? I don't know what these are called. I can't think. 
What is this? A squash? Is that what this is? The little thing coming off? I think it's a squash. I don't know. But they have cute little... And I was like, even if I sat them like this, this is still like really, really cute. Like the sunflower. Like, I don't know. I'd probably take this off and just use the sunflower because I really like it. These are really, really different. Um, I just thought these were pretty. I'll probably put these in my office. But they're like pink pumpkins or red or mauve or I don't even know. I see a little bit of everything. There's some shine. The stems are a different color. But these would be cute little pumpkins for my office so that it's not like a traditional orange pumpkin, but it's still fall and it's still really, really cute. So I love these. So these last few pumpkins were really cool. Um, saw them on that, I believe that same YouTube channel. Um, they're just little velvet, velvet pumpkins, y'all. They're still that foam type of pumpkin. Um, so if you squeeze them too hard, you'll put a dent in them. But they're so nice. And are we, come on camera, we gotta focus here, please? But um, not only did I find these, I'm shaking y'all. I found these beauties, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I really hope to put them in an arrangement um, at the front door, just a pop of this like beautiful, velvety, teal, turquoise. I don't even know. It's like a deep teal turquoise. It reminds me of like, I wanna say it kind of reminds me of like a velvet dress from like, I don't know, the 70s? Like, I could see a lady just wearing, like, thick, chunky boots and, like, a velvety dress in the 70s with, like, this color being the dress. Like, I don't know. That's just, that's just what I'm envisioning. That's what I'm seeing in my head when I see these. But I'm really excited to do something with them because they are so, so pretty. So pretty. So before I forget, um, this was the item that I was really, really excited about. Um, it's a solar stake light. Um, I've been wanting to get some of these for the front like walkway of my house, but they are kind of pricey at Target. Um, these were a dollar. Um, and I looked them up on YouTube and a lady did an actual review and found that these were brighter than the ones that she bought from Target. So, we're gonna try these um, and see how they do. Like, if they do well, I'll get more to like really line my walkway because that would be really nice for a night. All right, so that is my haul, y'all. Um, I'm really excited to kind of get some things moving and done with fall decor. Of course, I'll bring you guys back um, to film um, some of these, these these decorate with me videos are we going there i think we're going there soon some decorate with me some organize with me there's so much going on again if i find that sign that i'm looking for i will pop back in and let you guys know if not then it, i guess it's just a lost cause um you know maybe we'll find something similar to be honest i really need to look through my last year's fall stuff before i buy any more fall stuff because i bought a lot of fall, fall decor last year um, so I just need to kind of go through that stuff, see what made it through the move, what didn't make it through the move, and organize from there. Of course, there's probably going to be a Organize With Me Garage Edition coming. Uh, I wouldn't say soon. There's so much more of this house I need to organize that's more important than the garage. But... Um, we've just got a lot going on and um, hopefully I remember to bring you guys along this journey with me But yeah, that was it. I hope you guys like this video Please like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye